Alright, we're ready to get started using the brush tool, but before we do, I wanted to show you, first of all, where the brushes are that are included in this template, and also how I created a calligraphic brush. Calligraphic brush is a brush that goes from thick to thin, uh, as opposed to just like the line tool, which is just, uh, just a straight line. Or also the pencil tool, which is no thick or thin, and it just creates um, a line that stays the same width all the time. What we're going to use rather is a brush. If you press down hard, it gets thick. If you press gently, it gets thin. And I will, in fact, zoom in a little bit here so you can see it more clearly. I'm going to choose the brush tool, press, just tap on the medium brush, and I'll start pressing gently, and press heavier, gently, heavier, etc. Uh, that is what a calligraphic brush is. By the way, the brush has certain settings. If you double tap on it, I find these preferences through a bunch of experimentation I've come up with these settings fidelity of 2, smoothness of 5 and the edit select paths within 12 pixels so you can play around by moving these and see what kind of effects you get but basically it affects uh, whether the line that you draw uh, ends up looking like the line that you draw I'm just going to press cancel Anytime you don't want to change something, it's best just press cancel. But to, to change these settings, you could double click on this. If they ever get messed up and you accidentally change them to 8 and 88 by accident, you can see right now I'm going to get a different effect. What happens there is uh, I'm painting with the brush, but when I let go, it starts to overcorrect. So that's why I go with the settings that I go with, which is a two there and a five here under smoothness and then I'm going to press the B key to get the brush back and then you can see that it preserved the line the way I wanted to. To get rid of these lines I'm going to press V drag across everything and hit delete and I will also press command zero to go back to the full view. All uh, right, now as far as creating a new brush, press on here and you go to new brush. We want to create a new calligraphic brush. Okay. You can call this whatever you want to. Let's call it cartoon brush. Just again, name it something distinctive for your own sake. Now, the shape of the brush, you can change it here and then you can also change it there and you can get some very nice effects you want to play around with this to see what you want I've already created the preset brush settings but you can create all the ones that you want to on your own and the trick the, the trick here is under diameter you want to go to pressure because what that's going to do is then your strokes going to get thicker and thinner so this is a nine point diameter <clears throat> and for the variation what I typically choose is something that's about two-thirds of that so I would pick a six and then press OK and here's what you're going to get and press B for the brush and you get, you get a really nice brush that can go from thick to thin and I'm just going to press Command Z, Command Z, Command Z to get rid of all of it. Um, but let me show you what happens if you go to a nine point variation. For me, then the brush gets there's too wide of a range, and I just don't think that I don't feel like I have enough. Uh, it doesn't. It starts looking less and less like a cartoon line. It's great for doing other kinds of artwork but I prefer not to use a big line variation so to double tap on that and to change it I will go back to six or even a five 
and then you can see that there's still line width variation but not as much. Now the point is here if you want a really fine line you just choose a finer brush to get those fine lines or a medium brush or a bold brush or a bolder brush and that way it gives me the control. So I'm going to press V and select all of those and hit delete. Again, because these other layers are locked down, I'm not erasing any of them, and that's the big advantage of that. If you want to change it, go ahead and duplicate it first. So press this and hit Duplicate Brush, and it'll say Inking Brush Bold Copy. And that way you can double tap it, and then you can kind of tweak it around a little bit. Let's say you wanted to make this uh, five points. You can either do it with this uh, slider, or you could just press the number 5. And you can also go to decimals. You can make this 2.5 for your variation. You can make it 2.75 if you want to.